Welcome to Mystery Handicapper. I posted an analysis for the Arkansas Derby. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Florida Derby. I'll probably post some other picks as well for this weekend's races. So if you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, click on all notifications so you can be instantly notified when my picks are posted. Let's take a look at Saturday's race number 14 at Gulfstream Park. A mile and an eight grade one Florida Derby. The purse of a million dollars. This race features a Fountain of Youth winner, the winner of the Tampa Bay Derby, and the winner of the Holy Bowl, and a maiden winner with a ton of upside. It's pretty well bred as well. Let's take a look at the horses that I'm going to be using on my tickets. I'm going to be using in my exotics. Let's talk about that maiden winner. That well-bred maiden winner, the son of Tappet, it's the six horse, charging, seven to two. It's not going to have any issues with the distance being the son of Tappet. He should get that mile and eight with no problem. In his debut, lost by a neck at Gulfstream. Next time out, he went to the lead, didn't look back. Just extended his lead during the stretch, in the stretch. One by eight and a half. Impressive, impressive victory. I'll tell you, he's been working out very well, too. He's trained by Todd Fletcher. He'll be written by Saez. This horse has a ton of talent. A ton of upside. I'll tell you, it's a lot to ask for, for him to go from a mating vic maiden victory to a grade one stakes race. He will be forwardly placed in this race. I'm going to use charging on my tickets at 7 to 2. Then I want to take a look at the three horse. Simplification. This horse has raced at one track out of six races, and that's Gulfstream Park. It's got three wins, second, and a third. The second race. Broke his maiden by 16. A couple races later, later, he ran into Mucho Macho Man. Won that race by four. Next out in the Holy Bowl, up. man, he had a tough trip. He broke slowly. Finished second still to White of Barrio. Last time out in the Fountain of Youth. Beat that field by three and a half. Jose Ortiz returns. I like this whole simplification. I mean, even when he won in the Fountain of Youth, he was six wide in that race. He is sired by Not This Time. I'm a huge fan of Not This Time, three-year-old Colts. I like simplification. Going to definitely use them on my tickets. I'll definitely be using simplification in my exotics. Then there's the two horse, Classic Causeway. Won his debut at Saratoga. Then he stepped him up, put him in a grade one British Futurity, finished third. Next out, Churchill, he finished second. His three year old debut won the Sam. F. Davis by three and a quarter. I'm telling you, he took on some pressure in that race. But he shook off the pressure. He won that race nicely. And last time out in the Tampa Derby, he didn't get a whole lot of pressure in that race. He was able to slow down fractions a bit. He pulled away and won that one by two and a half. I like Classic Causeway. I picked him to win the Tampa Derby. What I like, one of the things I like most about this horse is that, especially his last couple races, watch how he breaks out of the gate. He breaks out like a rocket. It's like he's ready to race. He's not slow out the gate. He's not turning his head. He's focused and he's ready to go. He breaks out on top. He will definitely be forwardly placed as well. Rad Ortiz returns. 
I'm using Classic Causeway on my tickets as well. And there's a seven horse white Abario at three to one, trained by Safi Joseph. He won his debut at Gulf Green and followed that up with another win by four. In his last race out after about two month layoff, Holy Bull, he won that race by four and a half at six to one. You know, Safi Joseph said training up to that race, he wasn't really ideally prepared. Kind of had a setback in his training. But he still won that race by four and a half. He's perfect at golf string. And he's coming off a two-month layoff again in this race. But that's been Safi's plan all along. After the Holy Bull, race him in the Florida Derby after that without getting a prep in between. Look at that workout on March 29th. Three furlongs and 34 and 4. Why the Barrio is going to be tough to beat in this race? This is a competitive field. Uh, I'm definitely going to focus a lot on exotics in this race. I'm going to take White Abario to win the Florida Derby. I'm going to use him over Classic Causeway, Simplification, Charge It. Now there is an unknown coming into this race, and that unknown is the weather. From what I heard today, that they're expected to get about a 60% chance of rain on Saturday. And they may get some rain on Friday as well. So I'll uh, keep an eye to the sky. I'll watch track conditions and I'll bet accordingly. But I'm picking White Abario to win the Florida Derby. I think this is going to be a good race. Actually, this race very well could come down to the wire. Some really quality horses in this field. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Leave me a comment. Let me know who you're picking in the Florida Derby. Good luck.